It's with great sadness that I have to report that the Nzenga Coalition is now down to three members. The injured, club-footed Nzenga male has died after suffering over the past few months. His body was found at Mala Mala Game Reserve by the reserve officials. Cause of the death is most likely starvation. When four Nzenga brothers first showed up in central Sabi Sands during the latter half of 2021, things weren't looking as optimistic as they could. After siring a lot of offspring in sticks and southern pride, Coalition had decided to move north into central Sabi Sands to take over new prides and territory. Reigning Birmingham male was wise enough to figure out that he was no match for them and he abandoned his territory and pride for the newcomers. Nzenga's wasted no time and laid claim to a vast area. They also pushed out northern Avokas back into northern Sabi Sands. Everything was looking promising for the brothers, until it was not. When Nzenga's were busy winning over the females of the resident Kambula Pride, a coalition which would later be named as Gujima Males wrote down their territory. These new males were very audacious, and they managed to locate the club-footed Nzenga isolated. Even though he was outnumbered, the Nzenga male fought heroically and shook the intruders off of him. His brothers heard the commotion and ended up chasing the intruders south. This brawl left club-footed Nzenga wounded and limping. Following the altercation, his injuries started to take a toll on him. Within a few months, he'd lost considerable amount of weight due to not being able to hunt and follow the pride for food. Fast forward to the end of 2022, and the club-footed Nzenga was merely a shell of his former self, now he was merely skin and bones. After that, there were no sightings of him for a month. Everyone assumed that the worst possible scenario had likely happened and he was not coming back. But surprisingly, he resurfaced about a month later and was walking a lot better than earlier. Hopes of resurgence were growing larger because he was getting his mobility back, which was the precise perpetrator. Sadly, not all surprises are meant to be the good ones. When it seemed like he was going to come back, his body finally had enough and it gave up. As you might have noticed with animals, once they starve over a certain amount of time, they completely stop eating and never come back. This unfortunate scenario seems to have happened to the once mighty club-footed Nzenga. The Nzenga Coalition is now down to three members. Even though one of the remaining three is suffering from the prolonged intestine injury, the remaining two are fit and healthy. Let's hope they thrive for the years to come.